Principal Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is, come on, say it with me, Friday, okay, Friday, June 24th, 2022. Number one, the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol held their final public hearing for the month of June. In the Thursday hearing, they presented information that Donald Trump and his allies were trying to pressure Justice Department officials to come up with anything that would lend some credibility to the Donald Trump claims of voter fraud. Evidence demonstrated how the former president, Donald Trump, tried to use top Department of Justice officials to help him overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, but failed due to the pushback by high-ranking justice employees, including the acting attorney general. Number two, the NAACP is teaming up with Vote.org to register and mobilize black voters ahead of the midterm elections to boost turnout at the polls and counter new voting restrictions in almost two dozen states. This partnership will include training NAACP volunteers in the digital tools offered by Vote.org, which is a nonpartisan get out the vote platform. Vote.org touts robust free tools to easily help Americans of all backgrounds register, locate their polling place, and learn the rules of engagement around voting day. Number three, North Carolina's seven largest hospital systems reaped sizable financial benefits last year, even as they received billions of dollars in federal assistance during the pandemic. The State Employee Health Insurance Plan, which Treasurer Dale Falwell's agency oversees and the National Academy for State Health Policy reviewed, audited financial reports of the hospital systems. They found that the systems Atrium Health, Cone Health, Duke Health, Novant Health, UNC Health, Vitant Health, and Wake Med reported $5.2 billion in combined net income in 2021. Number four, the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration announced earlier this month that it plans to end coverage of gender affirming care, including hormone replacement therapy and surgeries for recipients of Medicaid. The proposed rule will be published in the Florida Administrative Register and presumably applies to several services for the treatment of gender dysphoria. This move counters the long-held belief of virtually every major medical association in the country. Number five, according to data from LendingTree.com, as a result of the pandemic, the doors of more than 40,000 small Black-owned businesses have closed. Essawan Books, one of the oldest and most popular Black-owned independent bookstores in Los Angeles, if not the country, is the latest enterprise to close its doors. Read more about it in today's What You Need to Know newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Life is a series of choices. Choose to nurture your inner peace. Out of that. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.